So in the last episode, I was showing how to beef up the body kit. And what we did was we took a region that was only about this thick, like super small, um, and we made it this thick. So we actually have anywhere between, you know, a couple millimeter and an actual, uh, a full inch of air of area that we can out bond to the car. Now that's only one half of it. We're also gonna expand the top half of this. We're gonna, since this goes into the door jam, we're gonna take and we're gonna fiber class and extend it. But there's actually a step in between because in between videos, I have actually done this once already, lost the footage and whatnot. So what I'm doing is I'm redoing it. Um, I didn't like the way it turned out. We're gonna make it better, do it again and do it better. Um, so uh, we're going to take Bondo glass and we're going to fill this up back in, get it nice and smooth. And then that'll build us up a nice level transition from the body kit to the door. And then we're going to take and we're gonna fiberglass over that and go from the body kit to the door jam so that there's one nice big piece that's nice and smooth, easy to finish up when we actually do all the bodywork detailing. But it also gives us an extra two inches that'll go from the top of the body kit all the way down. Um, and you can't ask for much more when you're trying to bond a body kit. Uh, a little bit, of, uh, just a good region of, of adhesion. It's all you need. We just need to make that happen. So let's get started. All right, so this is the region we're gonna build up. So what we need to do is we need to take um, painter's tape and we're gonna outline the region that we are, not, we're gonna fill in the region that we want to uh, adhere to, or build up, build up the lip over. We're gonna use the painter's tape first because it comes off really easily. Uh, and then we're gonna put the packing tape over that because not only will it come off easily with the uh, easier with this behind it, but it'll also, um, the all the fiberglassing stuff we're gonna do will not stick to it. And that's, it's gonna make it just peel off like a candy bar. So again, prep works number one. So let's get started. All right, so now that we have the door seal done, now we're gonna use this packing tape and cover it. And this will ensure that we have a, an, a good no stick surface for the bonded that we're about to apply. Okay, so now we're gonna put the body kit back on. Everything's taped up, the body kit's back up. It's clamped down in place because I can't put a screw there through there. That's a long story. But anyways, and I built up a little region so that um, it won't come over the lip and get on my um, clamp. And what we're gonna do is we're going to fill in this section with Bondo glass all through here so that this lip is flush with the car and you can see it actually it is pretty close in some places but not in others but let's just get it all to one size and then we'll go from there so bondo glass time all right we got our bondo glass make sure you wear gloves 
to in a well ventilated area because um yeah if you like if you want to see your finished product and not die of cancer before you uh finish it protect yourself <clears throat> partner like i said just draw a line that's all you need And then we're going to take and fold it into itself. Here we go. Here, this is all there is to it. Get you a big old scoop of it. Get it into place. Cool, as you can see, it already hardened up. That's all the playtime you get with it. Um, I pushed it pretty close to beyond the point. But no biggie. All this little stuff right here, we'll sand it off. Call it good. All right, we'll come back when it's dry. All right, it's been about 15 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and hit this with some 80 grits. We're gonna take it down, make it uh, a little bit smooth, not terribly, uh, all right, it's been about 15 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and start sanding this with some 80 grit, and we'll just take out all the ridges and get it ready to go for fiberglassing. All right, some of this stuff came out really thin, and that's okay. We'll knock it down, because we're gonna come back when we do the fiberglassing, we're gonna put resin. And resin is super strong and super durable, and that will fill some of these little gaps. Again, it'll be form-fitting and nice and flush and all that good stuff. All right, that's sanded down enough. Now we get to redo all this again. All right, so now we need to put all this stuff back up. And the reason is, is because we put it up the first time to make sure that when we did the Fondo glassing, that it came out um, nice and flush with the body. And now we're gonna do fiberglassing, which again, we needed to be nice and flush with the body. However, a consequence of using the Bondo glass is that it's not all nice and flush anymore. All that stuff dries and leaves ridges and whatnot, and we don't want that in our Bondo glassing naturally, or in our fiberglassing. So, do it again. Take a rag, we're gonna wipe this down with acetone, make sure it's all good to go. All right, the body kit is back in place. It's sanded down, it's cleaned with acetone, it's dry, all that good stuff. This car is all taped up. 
nothing's going to stick to it so we're good there the next step is we're going to take our fiberglass and start cutting out basically a template so that we can lay out our pieces Again, if you like breathing and living for a while, you might want to wear some gloves and do it in a well-ventilated area. So if you've never laid fiberglass before, here's how you do it. Pretty simple. Step one, resin. Put it in a smaller container. Something you can actually manage. Now I want five ounces. All right, so we're gonna measure this out. I have a little bitty cup. I know exactly how much one ounce is. I've marked it with the blue tape. So one ounce. And then you mix your hardener, 10 drops per ounce. So five ounces, 50 drops. Yay, we have to count. and 50. Oops. All right, so now we're gonna mix this up really quickly. Make sure you get the sides. Make sure you get it all thoroughly mixed up. Got our resin. Now we're going to take our brush All right, we have our resin, have our brush. What you want to do is coat the entire region in the resin. And we're going to take our first piece and we're just going to lay it in. And it will, the, the resin's super tacky, so it's pretty much gonna hold it in place for you. So once you have your piece in, then you come back with your resin, and you just mop into it. All right, so this piece will start at the bottom and go up. We're gonna start a little bit lower. All right, so there you go. Now we just have to let it dry and that will make a nice form fitting ridge that will bond perfectly to the car. All right, YouTube, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll pull it off and we'll see how well it turns out. Until next time.